You know they're done when the la, 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 I can't talk today. Hey guys, I'm April and welcome to the kitchen where I grew up. One of my favorite things about Thanksgiving dinner is dessert. And of course we make apple pie and pumpkin pie, but while we're making those, I always try to set aside a little extra dough to make apple dumplings. Today I'm going to show you my favorite apple dumpling recipe with a kick using a red hot cinnamon sauce. Let's get started. Even though we have red apple trees on the farm, I prefer to use Granny Smith apples in the dumplings because they complement the cinnamon flavored sauce. But you can use any baking apple that you prefer. The first step is to peel and core the apples. It also helps to slice off the bottom of the apple so that it sits flat in the dough. To core the apples with a knife, make cuts in the shape of a square around the core from both the top and the bottom. Try to get your cuts to line up as close as possible. Then push the core through. You may need to make a few extra cuts in order to get it to come out cleanly. Just be careful not to stab yourself through the apple. For the filling, mix three tablespoons of sugar, cinnamon, and set it aside. For the dough, combine flour, salt, and cut in shortening until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Using a fork, you want to mix in ice water until the dough forms a ball. It'll probably look really dry until you start to knead it with your hands. Then roll out the dough on a floured surface and cut out a square big enough to wrap up an apple. Then spoon the cinnamon sugar mixture into the apples. Moisten the edges of your dough with water and fold them up around the apple. Pinch your seams to seal them shut. and make a cute leaf out of your extra dough for decoration. For the sauce, mix two tablespoons of Red Hots, third cup of sugar, butter, cornstarch, and two thirds cup of water. Give that a stir over medium low heat and bring to a boil for two minutes, stirring frequently. Pour the hot sauce around the dumplings, but not directly on top of them. Before we put our dumplings in the oven, we're going to do an egg wash and then sprinkle them with sugar. An egg wash will make your dumplings nice and shiny when they're done baking. All you do is beat some egg whites and then paint it on the dumplings. And now just sprinkle them with sugar. And now we're going to pop these in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. It's 
been about 30 to 40 minutes, so let's get these dumplings out of the oven. You know your dumplings are done when they turn a nice golden brown color and they're best served warm with some vanilla ice cream on top. Drop me a comment below and let me know how your dumplings turned out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that bell for notifications when I have more recipes coming out like this one. Thanks for watching. Bye!